We are here in the studio with Laura Jane Grace. And first, I just want to say it's an honor to have you in. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming in. Now, I know you live in the area. So uh, did you do like Billy Corgan did from Highland Park and took a metro train down here? Uh, no, I drove uh, a minivan down here with my <laughs> wife. Uh, we have a rental right now. We got creamed by a drunk driver in St. Louis a couple weeks back. And oh, my so God. My car is in the shop, so we drove the rental minivan down here and parked in a parking garage. Well, I'm sorry to bring up trauma there. I didn't think that was, <laughs> that's terrible. I, I wasn't trying to bring up trauma either, <laughs> other than that like I was just you know painting the picture and giving you the, giving you the backstory. What color is the minivan? Uh, is it like a blue or a black or... Is it silver? <laughs> Am I... no, it's black. It's black. Yeah. Okay, yeah, black. Ohio plates. Ohio plates. I was going to say it's a very Schaumburg-y <laughs> minivan, but that's yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Been moving, so it's been great for that, but the seats go all the way down in the back. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say there's been a weird thing this year for me, and also I know because of the writing you did during the pandemic, but the whole time continuum thing is messed up for me right now. And just before you came in the studio, I went back and listened to Thrash Unreal for a second. And then I had to just take stock of that of what that song did to me when I heard it the first time, where it, your voice came out of the speaker and grabbed me by the throat and pulled me toward the speaker. Right on. That was 2007. We're old. <laughs> I know. I know, and it sucks. But, I mean, I, I would think back if someone said that to me, oh, that song came out about seven, eight years ago, and now it's like 17 years ago. Yeah. I mean, it both feels like yesterday and 17 years ago at the same time. But, yeah, I, I know what you're meaning about the weird time warp thing. Yes. Yeah. And, like, when you... I, I know I'll we'll focus on new stuff in a second, but just I had to I had to because that song meant so much to me when I first heard it. it means a lot to me. And of course, because you did. And when you hear it now, it takes you like songs like that, I think take you back to a time. And I know listeners are like me here at nostalgia wise. Uh, but obviously when you had that song come out and the moment and everything that was going on and uh, does it is it something you listen to, I guess is what I'm saying, back to ever. Is whenever I listen to it, I think Wow, I wish I had that lung capacity still. Oh, it's... <laughs> and then I'm like, did it really need the third verse? It could have just been two verses and then out, done. So, like, I don't know. I think about it in, from a performance standpoint because it's a lot of words. You know, like, word economy-wise, you're getting a lot of value with that song. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, that's the way I think about it. But um, I don't know. Like, I, you know, it's it's a part of me. And as I said, like, it feels both like yesterday and, and 17 years in between or whatever. Um, and I think the sign of great songs is are when like you know the meaning can change for you over the years like what it meant to me when i recorded it is meant is different to what it means to me now but that's not in a bad way at all you know? yeah that's exactly how a song probably should evolve over that many years mm-hmm. you know now in that way um so now you've got an album re- release show coming up for a hole in my head this week thursday and friday at sleeping village yes perfect venue love that place right on yes i like um, that venue too and uh my hood, too, by the way. I'll be over there. Yeah. Um, so uh, tell me about, you know, about the album coming up now and all the stuff you're working on more currently now. Sure. Uh, well, I can tell you that I recorded the album in St. Louis at this studio called Native Sound, which is a really vibey, fun spot. And then Matt Allison mixed it here in Chicago. And um, I don't know. I wrote the songs while I was touring, like coming out of the pandemic. So I started playing shows in like, I don't know, like fall of 2021 mm-hmm. and just like, you know, was out there by myself, me and an acoustic guitar, like touring around the world, playing shows, kind of kind of coming out bewildered, just like everyone else, and was just writing songs as I was traveling around. And so before I knew it, I had a record. And was that the inspiration of the traveling of the songs, or would you already have just things in your head that came around of, you know, I I want to get this thing out, but I can't figure out the song and how it's going to go. But when you're on the road, did it get easier in a way? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, like, you know, input equals output and like, Traveling always makes me feel really creative, but like I just write impressionistically, you know, and observationally. So like you travel around the world and you live your life and you're bound to have experiences and then write songs about them. And yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't wait because that's like, that's a perfect venue and, um, you know, for, for what that intimate setting, like you're saying, but also a good amount of people can get in that in sleeping village and have a good time there. Right on. Um, so I know you worked with Butch Vig. Yes. Uh, some stuff. And it's funny because me and Case, the producer, we always talk about the Nirvana documentary where he convinced Kurt to double his vocals. We were just actually um, up in Wisconsin, like uh, my wife, Paris, and I like uh, were up in Wisconsin uh, and played this uh, benefit Joey song, which is for epilepsy. And it was at um, the Sylvie was the name of the venue. But Butch was kind of like the musical coordinator for the whole event. And it mm. was like 
you know, Rick from Cheap Trick, part, members of the Bangles, uh, Soul Asylum, like uh, Silver Sun Pickups, like so many people there. Yeah. It was awesome. Jody from Big Star. It was rad. And did, did 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 he have that kind of in the in, when you're working with him? Because we always joke about how he tricked Kurt there, and there doubling was, his no, vocals. No, wait. There was a moment of pure magic. Actually, we were standing on the side of the stage. Sorry, I just scooted my chair that, over. I'm like turning and okay. looking at my wife. <laughs> there was a moment of pure magic where we were standing on the side of the stage, and Butch's daughter was singing a song. Right, and Butch kind of like with his hands conducted the song to an end <laughs> and like multiple people saw it and just like eyes went wide where like you know no one on stage was even looking at him but he perfectly just like sealed the song it was and in that moment it was like that that's why that's why he's butch fig that's why he's done what he's done can't turn it off <laughs> even with his kid that's amazing mm -hmm. and was it an amazing experience working with him in that in the environment that you did previously Oh, making records with yeah. him was like, I mean, the closest I'll ever get to going to college, you know, like those <laughs> were like master classes where, um, you know, there's some producers who, uh, big name producers who, who will like take on a lot of records at once and they'll just check into the studio. They'll come in for an hour, listen to what you did, but you're really making a record with the engineer. But Butch is there like, you know, you, if you're showing up at 10 in the morning, he's showing up at 10 in the morning. If you're going home at midnight, he's going home at midnight, you know, and like um, to just like have that kind of hands on experience and like to, to be able to like work with someone of that pedigree was monumental that's amazing well i want to hear some new stuff if it's possible to do that word <laughs> so if you're a game you have a guitar in your hand and i'd love to uh to, to hear some stuff okay let's see how my voice sounds oh this is gonna be good mm. check 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 i get this kind of right yeah What's the point? I keep making my bed And it's become a real chore And I need a hole in my head Head, 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 head Need a hole in my head I want to feel less I want to feel less Baby, what's I said? I got places to be Was incredible. Thanks. You still, I, I got news for you. you. Still got the range. You're still good. <laughs> it's about less words, yeah. less words. It's uh, more the breath, the lung capacity. You know. Yeah, songs got shorter. A little. Well, that, I mean, Thrasher Reel's pretty short, but I mean that that is awesome. That's amazing. Thank you. That's and uh, you want to tell us something about that song at all? That song's called Hole in My Head. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, got the hook. It's about how I need a hole in my head. <laughs> I got news. You got a couple holes, your ear holes, you got the mouth hole, you know, you got those yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was younger, I was ridiculous with the piercings. R regrettable looking back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that, that my kid hasn't gone into that phase yet. Oh, man. That was amazing. <clears throat> that was amazing. Can I try another one just to see how it sounds? I don't know how my voice will feel on it. You can yeah. do, you can play 10 if you want. Okay. This one sometimes is weird, too, without the rest of, like, instrumentation and shit. Can I get more volume in the headphones? Yes. Uh, let's see. Where, uh, let me see. Here. Case went somewhere. I need case for that. Where's he at? Um, let me text him real or quick. May, this might be all right if I just like I can, adjust yeah. that a little. On the bus. 
let's talk to the Rhino Champagne Hazel Rookies. I've been gone for weeks and I haven't washed out once yet. Are your wings rose ring? On planes flying a ship or higher than I am. Are the buds talk to that just having a good laugh? I got my mind set on you. Heard the beat in the elevator. Take the stairs and I'm coming down, coming down. Go outside to find myself. Go outside to find myself. Chasing anyways are the same When you come back home to find yourself Fly away, fly away, fly away What's the name of this song? They don't play red hot chili peppers in places like this While the buds suck too, they just got much better things to say I got my mind set on you Heard the beat in the elevator Think the stairs and I'm coming down, coming down Yes! That was amazing. Thank you. I like the beginning and the middle there. Like, what's the name of this song? Is that part of the lyrics or did you forget for a second? Yeah, no, it's, it's, that's the, I was, I was sitting in my favorite fucking, uh, excuse me. That's okay. I was sitting in my favorite, uh, uh, weed cafe in Amsterdam mm. and the song was playing and I was like, what's the name of this song? <laughs> And so to paint the picture, it's this place called Rookies that I'm talking about. They were out of my favorite uh, strain, which is Champagne Haze. And, Noted. And I'm sitting in there. It's really chill. It feels like really early 90s in there. And, and like there's uh, the person, the bud tender, for lack of a better term. I hate <laughs> that word, bud tender. But they're sitting back there behind the counter and they're smoking a J. And they're talking to people at the front counter. And it's like a really animated conversation. And like there's some kind of ns, ns, ns type music playing. And then the Red Hot Chili Peppers come on. And they like dead stop in the conversation just whips around and like turns the red hot chili peppers off and then put onto the next song and then right back into the conversation and i was like fully backed fully backed press skip on the red hot chili peppers thank you very much <laughs> that's amazing and uh thank you so much for playing a couple songs my pleasure well we're honored uh the album release shows again the new album hole in my head thursday and friday at sleeping village laura jane grace uh it was an honor thank you so much for coming in thank you for having me